Hughes uh, joins us this morning with our uh, Ag Report. Good morning, Donna. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Still hot and dry out there, not much rain. That's right, still hot and dry, and uh, producers continue to feel the effects. Uh, absolutely, and we all do. I mean, everybody's uh, drying out and browning off, and it doesn't look very good. The stock tanks are drying out. Yep, um, you know, we've uh, continued to hear more and more about, um, you know, cotton producers who are losing their crop and yeah. uh, some of the milo crop um, getting in later than uh, what, you know, we typically see. So, um, you know, we're praying for the rain yeah. and hopefully we'll get it soon. And we've even heard that stock tanks are drying up. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, with uh, irrigation or anything like that, um, we continue to see the dryness and uh, it's going to, have that effect. Sure, and even the tariffs, I know the tariffs are not uh, really affecting a lot of our farmers, but they they could eventually. They could eventually. Um, right now we're seeing more of um, like the pork producers and um, uh, soybean producers who are feeling the effects of this pretty tough um, over the last few weeks. But um, yesterday we did see some headway made with the EU, mm -hmm. and so um, we came out a little bit better than what we thought we would, oh, and good. so that's good news. Good. Maybe we can get it resolved with China and other trading partners, Canada maybe. Sounds good. All right. Well, Donna, thank you very much. I know it's uh, still have to watch, pay attention every day to all the things that are going on for farmers and ranchers. Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks again. Once again, uh, Donna Hughes from Cape and Sons. And, uh, you